Hey guys, as requested, I'm going to review a video called What happens if you only eat raw meat? Have you ever heard of the raw meat diet? That's right. I, I wouldn't call it a diet because diets are man-made. Raw meat is simply the natural food that humans eat in nature. A diet that consists of eating raw meat all day, every day. Most yeah, that's everyday life in nature. Most <laughs> of us have been taught to avoid raw meat like it's the plague. But is it really that bad for you? These people seem to be doing all right, I guess. What would... The Asians, probably Koreans, um, they do it for views. It's not as if that's the only thing that they eat. Would be the best way to eat raw meat. How would it affect your body? And what are the benefits of this diet? This is what if, and here's what would happen if you only ate raw meat. People on the raw meat diet say that they eat it for health reasons because it's more nutritious. After all, some studies suggest that the process of cooking meat may reduce the content of certain vitamins and minerals. Other yes, it has been proven many times. If you cook the meat well done, then over 90% of the B vitamins will be gone, which means that even cooked meat eaters can still get a B12 deficiency just like vegans. Vitamin D is destroyed 35% um, I believe in one study and a lot of the nutrients, even the fat-soluble vitamins are destroyed. Raw meat enthusiasts report having more energy and a boost in sex drive. Duh. But none of this is supported by overwhelming evidence. And even if it were, would the... Why would you need any other evidence than literally what happens to a human body when you eat raw meat. What other evidence could be better? Human beings eating raw meat and having all of these benefits is the best kind of study you can possibly have. It's uh, like the people who said that my ex-vegan interviews don't really have any meaning. Uh, it's the best study you can possibly have. I interviewed around 100 ex-vegans and all of them had very similar health issues. The best study ever done on veganism. I did the best study ever done on veganism. I'm not joking. There's no better study out there. Good effects outweigh all the bad ones. There's only one way to find out. Let's give it a try. Before we get into the effects that an all raw meat diet would have on your body, let's look at how you would eat it in the first place. You would have to cut up the raw meat into small bite-sized pieces. Human teeth struggle to break down raw meat. They're almost useless. That is so incredibly wrong. Everybody who eats raw meat knows that if you compare a piece of raw meat to a piece of cooked meat, which is dry and tough, then you will of course have way less of an issue eating the raw part. Raw is natural, raw is always best, raw is softest and so on. It's just common sense. We don't have the sharp canine teeth to chop and slice through raw meat. It's not needed to slice or to chew meat or anything. They don't even chew meat anyway. It is needed as a weapon for these animals. These animals bite you, okay? They don't use the teeth to eat raw meat. Have you never looked at how a dog actually eats their food or a lion, whatever? Our teeth are meant for grinding food. If you were to bite a piece of raw game, you would struggle to chew it. It would be like gum. Actually, a lot of tribes have been seen to cut off the meat and simply swallow it whole, seeing as uh, raw meat is uh, juicy and slides through your throat very easily, whereas cooked meat can get stuck in your throat, and that's why you can actually choke to death on cooked food in general. And you'd just be chewing forever. <coughs> and That's so incredibly wrong. You chew on cooked meat. Jesus. It's just, somebody makes a stupid video without having any kind of experience with raw meat whatsoever. At least try it before making this kind of a video. It doesn't get any better once you swallow it. Because eating raw meat can do long-term damage to your body. Oof. I don't know about you, but I could sure go for some cooked meat. What kind of damage? Is he actually gonna mention it? Or just empty words? Yeah, go for the cooked meat with actual carcinogens, which have been proven to damage the body. Nothing in raw meat has ever been proven to damage the body because, drum roll, you are made out of raw meat. Oh, really? So wait, this is all raw meat, which means that I am made out of raw meat. How can it be bad for you if you're made out of it? Literally, how does that make any sense? When you're eating 
a piece of animal flesh, you're eating basically the same thing that you are made out of. How can it then be bad for you? Of course, it's not. That's why it's much easier to grow muscle and whatnot when you're eating raw meat, of course. <laughs> right about now. Let's be honest, so raw meat versus cooked meat? I you know what I'm picking. I love the barbecue too much. In fact, I'm making some beef jerky right now. Let's go. Let me... You can't smell this, but it's the smell of beef and smoke. It's hickory smoke, and it's uh, eye of the round that I'm making. Oh my god, there it is. And it looks like it's just about done. So I'm... It's all fine if you want to eat jerky, if you're on the way or whatever, it's not gonna kill you, but uh, you're destroying all of the water-soluble vitamins and others also. So if your diet was made out of it, then you would be deficient eventually. Eventually, it could take super long. Make this quick. Um, I make really good beef jerky, if I do say so myself, and I've made so much of it over the years, and uh, people tend to really like it that I actually thought about going into business with it, uh, starting full-time jerky business, this is no lie. Um, but I would support that over everything that the vegans are putting out, or really most processed food. I'm not going to. I'm uh, going to keep doing the What If series, Voice of What If, but I did go ahead and make my own little beef jerky website. There it is. The best beef jerky you will ever eat, and that is no lie. I wish you could taste it. I'm uh, sorry I can't give it to you. You know, milk Good businessman. Yeah, I could talk about barbecue and smoked meat all day long, but that's not what's on the menu today. Instead, we have this, raw meat. Not only does it not look as appealing as cooked meat. That is supposed to look more appealing. Yes, to a slave's senses, it could, because that's what you grew up with, that's all that you know. I understand that, I don't blame you, but for me, the raw meat looks way more appealing. A juicy piece of red raw meat, I don't know what else could be more appealing to a human being. It's the best. But it can also cause you that looks amazing <laughs> i want to bite into that it looks so yummy way better than the cooked one which uh, just looked like there's a lot of carcinogens on it it doesn't have its natural color taste smell or anything anymore you a lot of trouble undercooked or raw meat and poultry can be contaminated with harmful bacteria such as e coli salmonella and yersinia if there are bacteria in the meat it can make you really sick no, that has never been proven. Bacteria has never been proven to be in any way bad for you. But yes, raw meat can make you sick. Cooked meat can also. And the raw vegetables make you more sick more often than anybody eating raw meat and so on. Any animal products in general. It's always the spinach, broccoli and so on that make people sick. You can actually only get sick from raw meat if the meat is sick. As in the animal was sick. The animal is going to get sick because of toxic medication, over medication and... Uh, an unnatural diet. If you do eat the organs of animals, then really watch out where the meat comes from. Usually this includes diarrhea, stomach cramps, vomiting, and a fever. All of those are symptoms of food poisoning. Poisoning means toxicity. It only means that it had never anything to do with bacteria. It has never been proven. It doesn't help anybody if you spread this kind of information without any proof whatsoever. And if you feel fine after eating your first raw meat dish, well, just wait a little bit before passing judgment. After you've eaten the bacteria, it can take up to 24 hours to experience. If you have eaten the bacteria, then your stomach acid is going to kill most of it because the pH of our stomach acid is higher, as in stronger, lower in numbers than that of um, cats and the dogs, for example. This has been studied and proven. Symptoms and they can last for many days, depending on the type of bacteria. If you still want to proceed with the diet, you'll need to be careful of what kind of meat you'll be putting in your body. You might want to stay away from chicken, because it tends to contain more harmful bacteria, like salmonella. No, again, that's not true. Salmonella creates uh, the B vitamins in your intestines, for example, and they are there to fight off the toxins in your intestines. That's why salmonella repopulates in your gut quickly after you've been food poisoned, and that's why you will find high amounts of it in your stool if they do a test. The reason you're going to get sick from chicken nowadays, not naturally, not from wild chicken, is because they are medicated so heavily, their bodies are so toxic, that even most of the eggs nowadays are insanely toxic and can cause food poisoning. But again, it's food poisoning, toxicity. 
Since chicken has a more porous structure, it's easier for bacteria to penetrate deep into the meat. That's the reason why when you're cooking chicken, you can't just sear the surface to kill all the pathogens. Also, to reduce your chances of eating bacteria-filled meat, you should only eat locally sourced and organic meats that have not been overly processed. And that would quickly start to get really expensive. But according to Rami... Who the hell is that guy? Jesus, he's crazy eating raw liver, so much raw liver. Eat ...enthusiasts, it would all be worth it. They say that... Good buddy though. Once your body gets used to eating raw meat, you'll get a lot more nutrients and protein than you would from the cooked alternatives. In one serving of raw ground beef, you get a whole 17 grams of protein. However, there is such a thing as too much protein. Research shows that eating more than 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight daily can cause symptoms of dehydration, nausea, irritability, headache, and indigestion. It can also increase your risk. Indigestion from too much protein? What is this guy talking about? Where's the proof for any of his claims? Ask of severe health problems such as cardiovascular disease, liver and kidney injuries, and even death. Maybe spending your days eating raw meat isn't the best idea. If you're going to go for a raw diet, it's best to also include raw vegetables and to get nutrients from other foods. The vegetables that we eat nowadays are all man-made, they don't exist in nature. Instead of just raw meat, it's also... What can you get out of those man-made vegetables? Nothing whatsoever, just some fiber and uh, pesticides nowadays. And um, from the seeds, they are indigestible for the most part again. Fiber, anti-nutrients, um, some carbohydrates, which are sugar, and then maybe a few minerals, but again, because of the anti-nutrients, you're really not going to get any out of the food. It's not even food. It's important to note that just because our ancestors did something a certain way, doesn't mean that we have... Everything that our ancestors did is correct. <laughs> Can you imagine if we all lived our lives like we were Neanderthals? Everybody would be healthier and happier. <laughs> Well, that's a story for another What If. Alright, uh, I tried not to act surprised, but I was actually really surprised to see myself in the video. <laughs> anyway, um, obviously this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I don't really need to explain that. Uh, I already debunked pretty much everything that he said. Um, it's really just a video made by somebody who's completely ignorant about uh, nature in general, obviously but specifically about what humans eat in nature, what actually makes us healthy, where to get the most nutrients. Obviously, that's why he mentioned the vegetables and the seeds at the end, because he's been brainwashed by the plant-based agenda, or whatever you want to call it, to believe that you need to eat some kind of plants here and there to get some kind of nutrients out of it, but he didn't actually mention any, which proves that he's ignorant. That's how most of these people talk. They just say, eat vegetables and seeds. Uh, why? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just heard that uh, food pyramid uh, teacher told me I heard that somewhere. No, just <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's a joke. Thanks for watching.